Did you know that the human papilloma virus, HPV, can not only cause cervical cancers in women, but can cause cancer of the penis in men? Welcome to All Around Health Talk with your girl, Dr. Oninye. This is a channel where our health is our priority. Now, the human papilloma virus is the most common sexually transmitted infection. It is so common that more than 80% of sexually active unvaccinated people will have HPV infection at some point in their lives. Now, before I get to the juicy part, do not forget to subscribe to this channel and put on your notification for every time I post a video. Also, like this video, share this video, and leave a question or a comment in the comment section, and I'll get right back to you. Now, many people tend to associate the HPV infection with cervical cancers, but that's not the only condition that HPV can cause. HPV can also cause genital warts, skin warts, amongst others. Now, this HPV virus has different strains, but the most common strains are strain 6 and 11, which cause genital warts, strains 16 and 18, which cause more than 70% of cervical cancers, cancers of the vulva, cancers of the vagina, cancer of the penis, cancer of the anus, and of the oropharynx. And then we have the strains 31, 33, 45, 52, and 58, which cause the other types of cervical cancers. Now, how is this infection transmitted? Skin warts are going to be transmitted through skin contact, direct skin contact with someone who is already infected with the HPV skin wart infection. Now, the genital warts will be transmitted through sexual intercourse, be it vaginal sex, oral sex, or anal sex. In terms of symptoms, HPV infection can be asymptomatic, which means that you might have the infection and not know. In some cases, it is symptomatic presenting in the form of genital warts. Now, these genital warts will tend to appear after one to six months of incubation. You can imagine, you could be with this infection, have sexual intercourse with people and still not know you have this infection. Now, in women, genital warts will appear in the vulva, in the vaginal walls, in the urethra, in the cervix, and in the anal region. In men, it will appear under the foreskin of the penis, in the urethral meatus. It will also appear in the penile shaft, which is basically the body of the penis. Now, in men who have sex with other men, the genital warts are much more common in the anus and the rectum. How do you identify these warts? Mostly the warts are soft, they are moist, they can grow in size, they have rough, rough edges or rough surfaces, and they can appear in clusters. Right. Warts are mostly asymptomatic, which means that you could have the warts and not feel anything, any pain or anything. But in some people, they could have genital warts and have a burning sensation, an itching sensation, or a feeling of discomfort. Now, I'm sure you're asking, how can this condition be diagnosed? How can HPV infection be diagnosed? Mostly, people will be able to identify their genital warts and they would go to a doctor because of this. Most of the diagnosis will be made by, based on physical examination, which is where, as doctors, we confirm the presence of these genital warts through physical examination, through observing your genital areas. But obviously, we will have to look at the characteristics of the warts to make sure that they are characteristic of HPV infection. Another way of diagnosing this could be through your normal routine pap test as a woman and your gynecologist might identify this genital wart while she's doing her, gen uh, her routine pap test. Or there's an HPV testing where your gynecologist will take a sample of the cells of your cervix during the routine pap test and test those samples for HPV infection. Now, in the case that there is a suspicion that these genital warts are in the anus or the rectum, a colonoscopy or anoscopy might be necessary. So how do we treat genital warts? 
Genital warts can be treated in different ways through topical medication, which is applying local medication to the genital warts to dry them up. Or we could use electrocauterization. We could use cryotherapy, which is the use of cold. And we could use laser or surgically removing them. In terms of cancer, which is also one of the complications or byproducts of the HPV infection, early diagnosis is important for early treatment and better prognosis. But the most important thing is how do we prevent HPV infection? HPV infection can be prevented by maintaining just one sexual partner. Ensuring that you and your sexual partner are in an intentional and agreed monogamous relationship. But even at that, there is a risk that you would have HPV infection. Your best bet is vaccination. There is the HPV vaccine, which is used, made to vaccinate people in order to prevent the infection, thereby preventing the possibilities of cervical cancers, cancers of the penis, of the vagina, amongst others. Now, this vaccine is available in three different types. We have the bivalent vaccine, which has just which covers two strains. That is the 16 and 18, which cause cervical cancers, vaginal cancers, amongst others. Then we have the quadrivalent vaccine, which covers four strains, 16, 18, 6, and 11. And then we have the nine valent vaccine, which covers all the strains of the HPV infection, which we already mentioned before. Now, this vaccine is available for males and females from the age of nine all through 26. The idea of vaccinating from the age of nine is to vaccinate before adolescents and kids become sexually active means before they are exposed to the infection their immune system is pre prepared to defend itself using condoms is a good way to help prevent this infection but because condoms do not cover the entire area of your genital region there is also always a risk that you will get hpv so your best bet is getting vaccinated if you've never heard of the vaccine this is a sign that you need to get more information about the HPV vaccine and get vaccinated. Now, I hope that this video has been very educative. I hope that you've been able to learn something new, something different, something that can help you in terms of making healthy life decision. Now, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. It's the only way I can continue to make more videos for you. Put on your notifications so that you get notified. Every time I post a video and you don't lose out on any of the crucial topics I'm talking about here. Remember to share this video with all your friends. Do not forget that HPV is not something that affects women alone. Men can have cancers from HPV infections. Also, if you have a comment or a question, leave it in the comment section and I will get right back to you. But do not forget to give a thumbs up. That's how I know that you're enjoying my videos and I will continue to make more videos for you. Thank you and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.